Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is Calling Dr. Amelia Bedelia by Herman Parrish and illustrated by Lynn Sweat. And, oh, maybe I'll read this little uh, cover insert here. Prescription. Date. A hot day in August. Four. Young readers. Symptoms. Dr. Horton's office is full of waiting patients. The doctor is delayed. The patient's patience is running out. Nurse Ames needs help. Treatment. Amelia Bedelia, helper par excellence, who solves all problems even if she creates new ones along the way. Recommendation. Open this book. Turn the pages and get ready to laugh at Amelia Bedelia's latest literal misinterpretations medical style. All right. Calling Dr. Amelia Bedelia. And this book was copyright in 2002. Here we go. It was a hot day in August. Mr. Rogers was even hotter. Amelia Bedelia yelled Mr. Rogers, What are you doing? What's wrong, said Amelia Bedelia. You said it was hot enough to stop, said Mr. Rogers. I said it was hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk, not on my car. Well, said Amelia Bedelia, you should be glad. I would never fry your eggs on a dirty old sidewalk. Forget about eggs, said Mr. Rogers. You will be late for your appointment with Dr. Horton. Jump in the car. Yes, sir, said Amelia Bedelia. She bounced up and down on her seat. Sit still, said Mr. Rogers. Good, said Amelia Bedelia. It wasn't easy to jump in your car. Mr. Rogers shook her head. What kind of doctor is Dr. Horton? He asked. The best kind, said Amelia Bedelia. She is a very good doctor. Of course, said Mr. Rogers. I mean, who does Dr. Horton treat? Everyone, said Amelia Bedelia, and she treats good boys and girls to ice cream. They arrived at Dr. Horton's office. Mr. Rogers took out a bottle. What are those pills? asked Amelia Bedelia. They are for a headache, <laughs> said Mr. Rogers. Why do you want a headache? asked Amelia Bedelia. I have a headache now, said Mr. Rogers. Then why do you want another one, asked Amelia Bedelia. I don't, said Mr. Rogers. In fact, I am getting rid of my biggest headache. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, said Amelia Bedelia. Thanks for the ride, and I hope you feel better. Thank you, said Mr. Rogers. Call me when you are done. Amelia Bedelia opened the door to Dr. Horton's office. It was a lot noisier than usual. Amelia Bedelia, said Nurse Ames, you are a sight for sore eyes. How terrible, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm sorry that your eyes hurt. My eyes are fine, said Nurse Ames, but I am up to my eyeballs in patience. Dr. Horton had to visit the hospital. Would she give me a hand until she gets back? No, said Amelia Bedelia. Both my hands are attached to me, but I would be glad to help you. Right then, the telephone rang. Hello, this is Dr. Horton's office. This is Mrs. Bender, said a woman. I am calling because I've got hives. That's great, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll bet you have honey.
Don't call me honey, said Mrs. Bender. Do you know what it means to have hives? I sure do, honey, said Amelia Bedelia. Stop calling me honey, said Mrs. Bender. I'm coming down to see Dr. Horton right now. Good, said Amelia Bedelia. Please bring us some honey. <laughs> Mrs. Bender hung up on her. Guess what, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Bender is coming to see us. Oh my, said Nurse Ames. Mrs. Bender is a pain in the neck, but her heart is in the right place. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. It would be terrible if her heart were down in her foot. This is April, said Nurse Ames. She is a little scared. Will you take her temperature? I will try, said Amelia Bedelia. Give it a shot said Nurse Ames. A shot, wailed April. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry, said Nurse Ames. It's just the thermometer. Amelia Bedelia, will you tell me the temperature in three minutes? I don't have a watch, said Amelia Bedelia. Look out the window, said Nurse Ames. The bank across the street has a big clock. Amelia Bedelia was busier than ever. She answered call after call. I hear a ringing in my ears. A ringing? Maybe you should answer the doorbell. My nose hurts on the bridge. Well, get off that bridge. I caught some kind of bug. I hope you let it go. Bugs can bite. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, said Nurse Ames, don't forget about the temperature. Amelia Bedelia ran to the window. It says 98 degrees. Fine, said Nurse Ames, 98 is normal. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia, this is a normal for August. For August, said Nurse Ames, don't you mean for April? Finally, April smiled. A boy came into the office. Excuse me, he said. I'm here for a test. Then you must be lost, said Amelia Bedelia. You'll have to go to school to take a test. I'm here for a blood test, said the boy. Blood test, asked Amelia Bedelia. What kind of crazy test is that, true or false? I wish it were, said the boy. Well, said Amelia Bedelia, let's give it a try. True or false, do you have blood? True, he said. Of course I have blood. Then you pass, said Amelia Bedelia. What if I didn't have blood, asked the boy. Oh, then you would pass out, said Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> Hi, Andy, said Nurse Ames. We need to draw your blood. Amelia Bedelia, please take Andy to the examination room. Look at all this blank paper, said Amelia Bedelia. Andy, why don't you go draw your own blood? Amelia Bedelia gave Andy a big red pen. He began to draw. My mum told me, said Andy, that when you draw blood, I will feel a little sick. Amelia Bedelia looked all around. Here, she said. Feel this old ice cream stick? Those depress your tongue, said Andy. Right you are, said Amelia Bedelia. A stick without ice cream would depress anyone's tongue. That reminds me, said Amelia Bedelia. She made a phone call. As soon as she hung up, the phone rang again. Dr. Horton's office, said Amelia Bedelia. I have a problem, said a man. I am a little hoarse, 
A little horse? Ha, huh, said Amelia Bedelia. You can't fool me. A pony can't talk. I have a frog in my throat, the man croaked. Yuck, said Amelia Bedelia. Spit it out. Listen to me, he said. I am as sick as a dog. Make up your mind, said Amelia Bedelia. Pony, frog, or dog? Maybe you should call a vet. I'm coming down there, he said, and hung up. Ring! The phone rang again. Dr. Horton's office, said Amelia Bedelia. Hello, my office, joked Dr. Horton. Hi, Dr. Horton, said Amelia Bedelia. I have been helping Nurse Ames. How nice of you, said Dr. Horton. So much has happened, said Amelia Bedelia, but best of all, April is normal for August. April, August, what, said Dr. Horton? Then I gave Andy a blood test, said Amelia Bedelia. You drew Andy's blood, asked Dr. Norton. No, said Amelia Bedelia. Andy drew his own blood. The table is covered with it. What? shouted Dr. Horton. Are you treating my patients? Not yet, said Amelia Bedelia, but I will soon. Don't tease me, said Dr. Horton. I'm almost out of patience. Oh, no, you're not, said Amelia Bedelia. Your, your office is full of patients. I'll be right there, said Dr. Horton. Oh, the office door burst open. Out of my way, yelled the woman. I'm Mrs. Bender. Just look at my hives. How nice, said Amelia Bedelia. You came to bring us honey. But first, let's take care of that pain in your neck. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia began to wrap Mrs. Bender in bandages, but she did not finish the job. All the patients Amelia Bedelia had upset on the phone stormed into the waiting room. Just then, Dr. Horton walked in. Calm down, said Dr. Horton. I will take care of everyone. My throat, oh, my stomach, my headaches, my... My hose, my nose hurts. Stop that ringing. Dr. Horton looked at the crowd in her office. Who is first, she asked. Me, said the delivery man. This ice cream is starting to melt. What ice cream, said Dr. Horton. Your ice cream, said Amelia Bedelia. I told you I was treating your patients. Dr. Horton laughed. Good for you, she said. My patients, patients, all deserve a treat. They were enjoying their ice cream when Mr. Rogers arrived. Amelia Bedelia, said Mr. Rogers. I was worried. Why didn't you call? I have been busy, said Amelia Bedelia. Yes, said Dr. Horton. She was a huge help. And you must be Mr. Rogers. Pleased to meet you, said Mr. Rogers. Dr. Horton looked at Mr. Rogers. Do you feel okay? asked Dr. Horton. You don't look very good. We know that, said Amelia Bedelia, but we have gotten used to him. <laughs> Say ah, said Dr. Horton. Uh-oh, said Mr. Rogers. Not uh-oh, said Amelia Bedelia. Say ah, like this, ah. Aha, uh -huh, said Dr. Horton. I knew it, Amelia Bedelia. Take Mr. Rogers home and get him into bed. I'm as strong as an ox, said Mr. Rogers. Yes, dear, said Mrs. Rogers, and as stubborn as a mule with chicken pox. Speaking of a chicken, said Amelia Bedelia, here is some homemade chicken soup. Yum, said Mr. Rogers. This hits the spot. What spot? asked Amelia Bedelia. The big spot on your cheek or the little spot on your chin 
or maybe the teeny tiny spot on. Enough, said Mr. Rogers. Okay, said Millie Bedelia. I will go and wash those eggs off your car. Good idea, said Mr. Rogers. Put some wax on it, too. Sure thing, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got a pail and some water, and she did not forget the wax. The end. What a funny story. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that one, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.